Republicans are in a vulnerable place, right, when it comes to women. I mean, as, as a lot of elected leaders like to put it, Republicans have a woman problem. Um, and holding up a bill because they believe that there are certain groups of women that don't deserve to be covered under VAWA will not play well with them. I mean, the, the, the notion that they are anti-women is being cemented, I think, and will be cemented with the public at large if, if they continue to block to block Fawa. No, um, and, and that's an interesting. Ahead. That's an interesting thing, Shauna. Though, is that Republicans they profess to be so they, they're this big believer, and I've been dealing with this like even you know in, in the personal political spaces that they're this they're big believers in why we need to do everything like Jesus had done it, and we need to protect the least of these and help those individuals. But yet, there's laws that do that, like the Violence Against Women's Act, and Republicans have con- consistently stood in the way and said we don't need these bills to solve to protect the least of these. Or, we don't need these bills to be more godly we just sort of manifest it and it happens yeah i mean it, look i feel like i've become desensitized to this fact but i will point out that on when it comes to to the violence against women act it's not all republicans it's republican men it's eight republic it was eight republican men in the senate and it's i actually don't know how many republican men in the house but it's on a name them out who are the who, who are these who are these men that are standing for, uh, standing against the Violence Against Women's Act, if you give some names. I think it's important that people know who these people are. It could be their representative. I should probably be able to give you those names. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, but, you know, but the ones that, I mean, the, 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 the ones who are actually getting in the way of this passing, right, who are the most publicly, right, blocking That's who I the want. bill, is going to be Cantor and Boehner, right? John Boehner I mean, and Eric Cantor standing against, they, I guess uh, that would sort of mean, Shauna, that they're for violence against women by default, right? Well, they, they I mean, that is, <laughs> that is exactly what it means. They, they, <laughs> it's not just by default. I mean, they are actively blocking a bill that will help people who are, domestic, who are victims of domestic violence, and they're saying, actually, this isn't a priority. And, and the, for the reason record, they're saying it's not a priority, and, 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 for the record, we'll and they're mention. fairly transparent about this, is because there are vulnerable, the most vulnerable communities are, are unworthy of being protected by the U.S. government. I hear you. Communities being LGBT, um, Native American, and immigrants. And I think to add to that, I w- you, know, you never want to leave out, out of the mix um, our good friend um, Mitch McConnell, who's always um, probably in the mix somewhere here. But I think you're completely right on this. And I think, you know, knowing folks who've been through this and I, I have personal personal friends who've been through this type of abuse, that if it wasn't for the Violence Against Women's Act, they wouldn't have been able to call anybody. They wouldn't have had help. It's just sort of sad that our country's reached to the point where we've let politics get in the way of helping the American people. Yeah. I mean, it happens a lot when it comes to protecting women in particular. I mean, that's something I work on a lot, obviously, through ultraviolet, because we're focused on on issues that impact women directly, whether it's, um, you know, our reproductive health and rights or our sexism in the media or gender, you know, parity in the boardroom or um, and, 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 and sexism in our broader culture and what have you. But um, but it's it, you know, it, it just is often the case. Um, that there are rewards um, at, in Congress, in our federal, you know, in the, in the U.S. Congress for for essentially throwing women under the bus, um, whether wow. it's you know attaching an abortion right or to a tax cuts bill, um, or or in this case, you know, refusing to pass VAWA. When you're turning something like this that is actually is that is, is, is has been not contra- has been non controversial ever since it was first passed until now. Um, because because you, because you just you aren't interested in, in expanding coverage to the most vulnerable communities is pretty appalling. There really isn't any excuse for it, and I think if it doesn't pass, you're going to start to see Republican women um, coming out publicly um, and 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 demanding passage soon. And I hope they do. I mean, I I want to see all the especially the women of the Senate who. Uh, they get this. I mean, they understand what this means to to you know their fellow their fellow woman out there. And, and you know, I, I think you're completely right. I think the communities that this bill helps the most, because you put you, you got to put it into play. You got to put this all into to play, and you can't look at this act in a vacuum. And I think you get this, Shauna. You got to see this act that okay, you're in a situation where you're being beaten by your significant other. Right, you're mo- in most in all likelihood. There's probably economic pressures in the household. There's financial pressures in the household. There's could be housing issues. There's so many different things that could be tied to drug abuse or alcohol abuse. And you put those all into play, uh, and you really realize that 
they're dealing with all the stuff that these the Republican Party has done against women, against African American, against Latinos, against native native against native folks out there has really been to to you know further their advancement and to really crush the middle and working class in this country. Yeah, all of that's true, um, and it's and it's a really disturbing trend that's. You know, I hope is is I hope it peaked already, and that we're going to start to see changes on this. I mean, we're starting to see Republicans move on immigration reform, largely because of of you know Latino turnout at the polls um, this past election. I think you we would have thought um, that, given that women um, were. Uh, a lot of people would, I think, argue that women decided this election, that they would be equally nervous <laughs> and equally motivated, um, um, uh, you know, to do what they can to prove that, that they do care about women's rights and protecting women in vulnerable situations. Um, but they haven't proved that yet. And so it's up to us, right, to to expose what's happening. And, that, and that's really the first step here with VAWA. It hasn't gotten a ton of attention in the media. Um, and it needs to. And that's what needs to happen first. And people need to hold them accountable when they refuse to pass it. I completely agree with you. Shauna Thomas, ultra co-founder of Ultraviolet and a good friend of the Richard Fowler Show. Thank you so much for being on with us tonight.